Supporting a solid ball. A solid uniform 45 kg ball of diameter 32 cm is supported against a vertical frictionless wall by a thin 30 cm wire of negligible mass. You can see in the figure. Draw a free body diagram for the ball and use the diagram to find the tension in the wire. Part B. How hard does the bull, ball uh, push against the wall? Okay. So first of all, um, the ball has a diameter 32 centimeters. So I can calculate the radius of the ball. The radius R is basically 32 centimeters divided by 2, so it's 32 over 2, which is 16.0 centimeters. Uh, and if you look at this uh, triangle here, AOB triangle, uh, from this triangle uh, we can read from AOB triangle uh, we can read sine of the angle alpha so sine of the angle alpha would be r divided by r plus the length of the wire so this will be r divided by r plus 30 now r we have just found to be 16 so this would be 16 divided by 46 and cosine of the angle alpha is square root of a uh, 1 minus sine alpha sine square alpha so cosine of the angle alpha is square root of 1 minus 8 square over 23 square because 16 over 46 is 8 over 23 so this is square root of 1 minus 64 divided by 529 which is square root of 465 divided by 529 okay now that we have worked on the geometry, we can start uh, solving the problem by drawing a free body diagram for the ball. So in part A, uh, we need the free body diagram of the ball. So let's identify the forces acting on the ball. The ball feels the gravitational force due to Earth, which is pointing down. There will be a tension on this wire, uh, and there will be a contact force between the ball and the wall, so there will be a normal force acting in this direction. So when the ball is modeled as a particle, we can put the weight of the ball pointing down, mass of the ball times the gravitational acceleration g, we have tension uh, and as you can see the tension uh, will make an angle alpha with the vertical here so the tension makes an angle alpha with the vertical axis and there is the normal force from the wall the contact force the normal force okay and this is our y-axis, this is our x-axis. And the ball is supported and it doesn't move. Therefore, the net force on the y-axis should be equal to zero. So T cosine alpha must be equal to mass of the ball times the gravitational acceleration G. So uh, T is equal to because the ball was 45 kilograms 45 times 9.8 divided by cosine of the angle alpha 
which I have found to be square root 465 divided by 529. So this is square root 465 divided by 529. And this gives us, up to three significant figures, a 470 newtons for the tension in the wire. Now we move on to part B. Uh, part B asks me how hard does the ball push against the wall? <clears throat> now from the free body diagram the net force on the x-axis should also be zero because we have equilibrium so the normal force is balancing T sine alpha. So this is uh, because the ball was the tension was equal to mass of the ball times gravitational acceleration g divided by cosine alpha from this equation. Uh, this has to be multiplied with sine alpha. So this gives us mass of the ball times gravitational acceleration g times tangent alpha for the normal force. So 45 kilograms 9.8 meters per second square times sine alpha over cosine alpha. Sine alpha is 16 over 46. 16 over 46 or 8 over 23. Divided by cosine alpha. This has to be multiplied with square root of 529 over 465 and this gives us 164 newtons now so now you can see that uh, this normal force exerted by the wall is actually minus 164 newtons in i hat direction because this is a reaction to the force exerted by the ball on the wall, uh, we can see that the force exerted by the ball on the wall due to Newton's third law, force exerted by the ball on the wall is 164 newtons in i hat direction it's pointing towards the wall okay so let's summarize what we did here in this problem we have an equilibrium situation there is a solid ball that is held against a wall by a, a wire a thin wire of 30 centimeter length and we, we are given the diameter of the ball. So from this geometry, because this is a spherical ball, uh, basically um, touching the wall at point B, I have labeled the point of support as point A. Uh, I obtained this triangle AOB with alpha being the angle uh, between the wire and the wall uh, on top. Uh, so first I determined the radius of the ball and from this triangle I read a sine alpha to be r over r plus 30 which is 16 over 46 and cosine alpha I just used uh, the property that sine square plus cosine square is 1 uh, which is which gives me cosine alpha is square root 465 over 529. Then we draw a free body diagram for the ball we identify tension making an angle alpha with the vertical, the weight, uh, mass of the ball times gravitation acceleration pointing down, and the normal force, contact force from the ball uh, in minus I hat direction acting against the ball, perpendicular to the wall. The net force on the y-axis becoming zero, the vertical axis has T cosine alpha component and the weight of the ball, so that gives us for tension 470 newtons when we substitute for cosine alpha and uh, we have the net force on the x-axis is equal to zero so the normal force is equal to uh, T sine alpha 
which is uh, the tension um, mbg over cosine alpha multiplied by sine alpha and when we substitute the numbers here this is 164 newtons but the normal force is in minus i hat direction whereas the force exerted by the ball on the wall is the same uh, magnitude in opposite direction due to newton's third law so this is newton's third law action reaction